motors what do you know about motors um the test on some of the motor i don't think i've had any motor questions yet on the test oh you have it i don't think so not that i recall of because that's kind of where you get your um you get your your feeders your branch circuits and your overcurrent protection and your service all they they all a lot of them originate from right here okay so um cool let's introduce you to motors because there's you're gonna see motors i'm very surprised you haven't seen a motor yet so there's six steps into working you, your motor situation out. Um, step one is just finding the FLC of the motor. Step two is determining the overload protection. Step three is your branch circuit conductors. So between, um, between your motor control and your motor, mm -hmm. what size wire you run into your motor, uh, branch circuit uh, protection, so the breaker and or fuse that you're putting in your motor control center or your uh, panel, this is how you determine, this is how you figure out the fuse, what size fuse to, to um, use, the feeder conductor size. So um, probably where you're at, if out on location, you've got a, um, a transformer bank off a of location and there's a main disconnect out there. And then it goes into, and I know it's on pump jack. So it goes to your um, panel to, that's feeding your pump jack. So that wire that's going across location is determined, that size of that wire is determined by this, um, this calculation right here. And then out there, on that disconnect, the size of the fuse is determined right here. Okay. So I kind of have that drawn out for you right here. Um, here's your disconnect. Here's your conduit and stuff that's going across location that the pumpers always get pissed at because you always leave a big old speed bump in their oh. location or yeah. a hole or something. They're always bitching about something. <laughs> Um, and then this right here is your panel on your sub pole or whatever, right by your pump jack. Mm -hmm. Um, this is the wire that's going out to your motor onto your pump jack. So this, you got to determine the size of that right there. Now, this right here is the size of your heaters on your motor. It's not the size of your fuses or your breaker. It's the size of your heaters. The heater overload? Exactly. Okay. And then this, this right here is your motor sitting on your pump jack and it's just your FLC um, full load current of your motor. So it goes from your motor through your heaters down through your branch circuit wiring over there to your breaker or fuses in your um, panel. And this is the, the wire that's going from the panel across location to the disconnect. And then at the disconnect, this is the breaker or our fuse, it's usually a fuse that's in that, that disconnect. Okay. So as we go through this, we're gonna start, we're gonna, um, refer back to this this diagram so okay. go to 430.248 and 430.250 now this may be when you find it double check my page numbers right here this may be for 17 so you just may be able to go right to it also that should be tabbed Four thirty dot two fifty one conversion table of polyphase design B C and D mass maximum load 
or lock rotor currents for selection of disconnecting means controllers determined from horsepower to voltage rating. Nope. You went one too far. Go to 250. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's right here. 250. All right. Do you see 248? 248. Uh, 430, be, uh, 248? Yeah, it should be for... Um, Single phase alternating current motors. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I have I also have it tabbed. So that guy he, on his book, he had extra additional tabs. Yep. And it's FOD amp size. Yep. Yep. There you go. So on um let's do some doctoring up of your um book real quick. Okay. On um table four thirty dot two. 50. Okay. Take your pen and just write three phase AC. Right above the 430-250? Somewhere right in. This is yours. Do, wherever you can spot it or do whatever. Dress it up the way that you can identify it. Three phase AC? Mm hmm Okay. On um, 430.248, on page 322. Okay. I'm sorry, 321. Uh, 430.249, full no current, two-phase alternating current? No, I'll do 248. Okay, the full load current's in single phase. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, so right there, put single phase AC. Okay. Now, those are your two. Those are your two tables that you're going to be. Hope you enjoyed a piece of that um, movie that we recorded from our last session, helping a guy get ready for his journeyman's test. If you or that person needing some help getting prepared for the test, or maybe you have taken the test and still need some help, um, Forte Electric can get you past that test. My name is Kane Monroe. I am the owner of Forte Electric. And as you can see in the video, we do one-on-one -on -one video calls where I talk to you, see what you need help with, and we go through the slides and get you prepared, go through the code book, get you familiarized with it, whatever you need to do to get your test taken and passed. So I'm here for you. Um, Larry, again, if you like what you saw, I think we can help you out. Um, there's a link in the comments and give me an email, catch up with me and we'll get you set up and get you past your journeyman's test and get you on the way to uh, bigger and better things, more money better living. So um, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.